Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Coders Column. In today's video, I will explain how to create a single page web app that shows the cheat sheet of Python data visualization library Matplotlib. We will be creating this web app using famous Python dashboarding library named Streamlit. Now the reason behind creating a, to show the cheat sheet is that it's easy to share with others. With a PDF, you might lost it or you might forget the place where you have stored it. So if you haven't used it for a long time, then you might not remember where you have kept it. With web app, you can simply bookmark the URL and share it with others as well. Anytime you want to check the cheat sheet, you can simply go to that URL and check the cheat sheet. So yeah, that's the motivation behind creating an app for maintaining a cheat sheet. As you can see on my screen, that I have an original cheat sheet which is available from live matplotlib website matplotlib.org open on my screen and we will try to create this cheat sheet in our tutorial so as you can see this cheat sheet has uh, actually two page but we will try to create a one page app and later on you can extend this and there are five columns over here one two three four and five but for our tutorial we will be keeping only first two column and last column the reason behind this is that i wanted to keep this uh, tutorial short if i include all the columns then it will take a lot long time to create this tutorial so that's the reason i have kept only three columns for our tutorial all right so first of all before we start with the coding part let me show you how the app that we are going to create will look like so I have already deployed the app at this URL matplotlib cheat sheet dot streamlit dot app. So you can check this URL if you want to see how the app will look like. So this is how the app will look like as you can see. And this can be easily extended further to add more data from this cheat sheet. All right. So that was a small introduction. Now let's get started with the coding part. All right, so as you can see on my screen, now I have a ID open, so I will be using a Visual Studio Code Editor for coding purpose. And I have created a file name matplotlibcheatsheet.py. So in this file, we will be keeping the code for our app. So at the beginning of the uh, file, I have already imported Streamlit. Now the first thing that we need to do is that I need to call this method set set page config and over here i need to set layout of the page so by default this value is wide or uh, centered actually and i need to set it to wide the reason behind this is that by default uh, the layout is centered where there is a white space added on both the side left and right side and around 1300 pixel of uh, vertical layout is created in the center but for our purpose i want the whole page to be used i don't want to be added any white spaces on left and right so in order to use the whole horizontal space i have set the layout as wide right so now first of all what we need to do is that we need to divide our horizontal space into three vertical columns so that we can do using a function named columns so st.columns and then you need to give integer numbers i will get three so it will divide the space into three columns and I will set gap parameter to medium. By default, it's a small, so it will add a small pixel gap, but with the medium, it will add a little bit more gap. There is another very large, which you can set if you don't like the medium gap as well. Now the output of this is a three column objects. So I will save them to call one, call two and call three. In call one, the first, uh, the first column will be added so let me open the cheat sheet so in call one this will be added in call two this will be added and in call three this column will be added right so let's get started with uh, adding the part for the first column so now in order to add anything inside of that column we can use that the call object as a context manager so i have over over here uh, coded that with call one so this whatever and now i write or call any method inside of this will be plotted or printed in the first column so the first of all the first thing that we had over there was this matplotlib logo 
as you can see so let's add it so in order to add a matplotl logo we can simply call image function and to this we can provide the name of the image now in my case i have kept all the image that i'll be using in tutorial in this uh, url static and the name of the image is matplotlib.jpg so this will include the image now what i will do i will set one more parameter use column width and i will set it to true by default this parameter is false so what happens is that if uh, you have image that is uh, smaller than the size of the column then it won't expand it if you say set a use column width then it will shrink or expand it based on the size of the column right now next thing is next thing over so let me open the cheat sheet next thing is this header quick start so let's go ahead for that we will use a function name markdown so for those of you who don't know what markdown is uh, markdown is a language that let us include formatted text so if, uh, if you have a background in jupyter notebook then you might be already aware of uh, what markdown is right so over here i will include a text name quick right now in order to the format that uh, was present in the cheat sheet like uh, gray background and dark color i can surround this text in some html tag and in order to interpret html tag i need to set this argument unsafe allow html to true if i don't set this argument unsafe allow html to true then this span this tag will be displayed as it is in the dashboard but with this now the whatever style that i apply to this tag will be displayed over there in the web app so let me first of all set uh, so i will use a style parameter of this tag to set the background color first so i will say background color to light gray so this is a css which i am adding over here so you might need a little bit of background with css but that's okay the it's a very basic css so first of all i have set background color to light gray next i will set font weight to bold then semicolon so background color is set font weight is set let me add a padding so i will add a padding of 10 pixel all right so now that uh, this part is done let's go ahead and copy the second part of this so over here i have a sample code so in this cheat sheet over here this is the code part now in order to add a code part there is a function name code so over here i can provide whatever code i want to include and by default as you can see the language parameter is uh, over here the language parameter is python so if you are including both code for some other language then you can set it from here so i will use uh, single quotes uh, to for a multi-line string so i will copy this uh, code that i have over here right so now this is done so this is the first uh, part of our cheat sheet is ready this part so let's go ahead and test this part and see how it looks so as you can see below i have already this uh, terminal open and i have already traversed two path youtube tutorials matplot matplotlib cheat sheet web app so in this folder i have saved this file matplotlib cheat sheet dot py now in order to run dashboard using streamlit we need to execute command streamlit run and then the name of the file so in our case it's a matplotlib cheat sheet so let me just execute this line of code so what this will do that it will start a server and then it will open a new tab in the browser where we will be able to see our app all right so it has started the server and the new tab is open in the browser and yeah as you can see that uh, we have our initial uh, app ready with the first column and this first uh, now as you can see the quick start looks small i want to extend it till the end 
so for that i will make a minor change over here for style i will set display and i will set it to flex so that is the only change that i need to do so let me rerun it as you can see over here on the top right corner it's saying source file change so i will click rerun so yeah now as you can see the quick start has uh, extended till the end yeah so the first part is done let's move on to the sec second part of our cheat sheet so next is to include this figure anatomy of a figure so right so let's go ahead now other than uh, that uh, this markdown which we used like gray background you can go ahead and try some other functions as well so there is a function named info which will include a like uh, alert with uh, with uh, um, blue background light blue background so over here i will say anatomy of figure and then next thing over here is this figure so i have saved this figure uh, to a static folder so i will say image statics less anatomy of figure dot jpg right so let's check this part right so as you can see uh, now this time as you can see this is a light gray background and this kind of uh, header i included for the section over here as you can see this one was gray which was looking like uh, this one but i included this uh, blue one to show you like if you are interested in including this kind of uh, header then you can use that as well right so let's move on next is uh, subplots layout now for heading of subplots layout there is another uh, function name success which i will use so this is the uh, this will include a same header like info but uh, with a green background because the name of the function is success and it, this info and success are actually alert and generally used in a dashboard to show alert but in our case we are using them to show header right so let me copy subplots layout right so now we have subplots layout done now over here as you can see over here on the right side we have this layouts and then some amount of code so to handle this we will again divide this horizontal space in our case this horizontal space over here so let me rerun it so over here we will divide this horizontal space and at the beginning in two columns in the first column over here we will display image and then we will display code so in order to do that I will create it. I will again call st.columns function. Now, this time I will pass this function a list and I will pass two integer one and four. So, at the beginning, as I showed you guys, uh, you can pass uh, you can pass integer now single integer. Now, with single integer, what happens is that it will divide the space into equal equal number uh, equal of. So if I give columns two, then it will divide the horizontal space into two columns of equal size. But there can be situation where I want to divide the columns into uh, horizontal space into column of different size. So that is the case over here. So by providing this integer one and four, what I am saying over here is that the size of the second column is four times the size of the first column. So that will be the difference. So first, uh, the second column will take almost eighty percent of the space, and the first column will take twenty percent of the space. Right. So let me call it call one one and call one two. Now, with call one one, I will include an image. So image for this is the layout one dot jpg. I have saved it by the name layout one dot jpg and image for call one two all right so second is the text. so let me copy the text from here so let me go to cheat sheet so this is the text and that i will plot using markdown so over here i will copy and as you notice the plot was uh, dark bold so that we can do using 
by putting subplot inside of star star because it's a markdown and then next is this line of code which is light gray so that we can write using caption method so the caption function whatever you give to caption function it uh, writes the text with the light gray the, on the dashboard All right so these changes are done let's check it let me rerun and yeah as you can see this is ready so let me go ahead and do this for this other three as well right so i'm done with the coding part let's check the changes of all the subplots so let me rerun it yeah and as you can see uh, we have this section of our uh, cheat sheet ready so let's go ahead and add this section of getting help so first of all i will add header saying getting help now getting help is a uh, list of icons and some links so let me show you that as you can see some icons and links so i will be using the same logic which i had used for subplot to divide the space into horizontal space into columns so i will say call i will copy this code over here and now this time i want icons to be small and then there is a tag so i will use this uh, so second column should be 10 times that of the first column so with call one one i will say speed. now i have image saved by the name matplotlib.png so that will include image then in order to include link i will use markdown and in this markdown i will use the hyperlink tag which is available in html so let me do that in order to include tag i need to set and save hello html to true and let me go there let me click on this link so right let me go over here and copy it let me include it over here as well as so inside of uh, hyperlink tag we need to include tag right so now that is done let's just paste this part and then i will include all the other links so over here we rerun and yeah as you can see we have our uh, any first link over there matplotlib.org so let's go ahead and include all other links right so i am done with the coding part of that section so let's check it yeah and as you can see uh, we have all the urls all right so we are done with the first column of uh, our app of this cheat sheet so let's go ahead and do the second column 
so in order to use the second column we will use call to as a context manager the so first of thing is first of all is the header which is a basic plots so let me include that by copying the code at the beginning next over here is again some uh, figure and then some text so we will use exactly same logic which we had used for subplots layout and over here i will include first five lines from this section and same from advanced plot i will include uh, next five lines so right so let me copy the code which i had used over here chart one image name is chart one then caption okay so let's check these changes All right, so here we have the first entry of basic plots. So I will go ahead and add all the entries for remaining entries for basic plots and advanced plots as well. right so we are done with the changes for the second column as well so let's test it let me go to app over here and let me rerun and yeah as you can see we have a second column ready as well and in order to expand the size of this uh, images a bit what i can do is that uh, there is a parameter name use column with which I explained earlier so I can set it column with two two. so let's check it for this one and see how it looks yeah it's not adding much of a difference so yeah let's keep it as it is all right so let's go ahead with the third column so here we are the third column over first of all there is a header name animation and then some code is over there so in order to use the third column uh, we will use call three object as a context manager and first of all we will include i will copy this markdown and i will include header header says animation and let me copy this code part as well in order to include code again i will use code function this three column uh, three single quotes and right so let me just copy the code over here let me move so this is one line of code okay and let me add a space over here okay so let's check this part yeah so we have animation part ready as well so let's go ahead and add this part styles so 
so below style is one line of a code so let me copy it and then below that is an image so the image name is styles.jpg as far as i remember so let me try it all right so now we have that uh, style section ready as well so let's go to next section which is a quick reminder so all of this is getting done inside call 3 call 3 uh, context manager so quick reminder And then below that is a code. I will again include single quotes for multi line string. So let me copy this, paste it over here. Right, so let's check this as well. Let me just rerun. Yes, yeah, so we have a quick reminder section as well. So next section is keyboard shortcut now i will ignore this section as of now this section can be done same way like we did subplots layout and this advanced plots and all this section you will have to divide this uh, horizontal space into two vertical space first and then you can again divide that uh, columns again to include the images of uh, keys and then some text next to it so next i will include this section which is 10 simple rules And below that I had some text so let me copy it and I will include this text using again markdown function so multi-line string with three single quotes right so let me do that and we are almost done with our dashboard so let's taste this last part all right so 10 simple rules all right so we are done with the creation of our app which displays matplotlib cheat sheet so as you can see our app is ready and let me show you the code as well so here is the code total code as you can see it was quite easy to code this uh, app and we were able to create this app uh, without a single line of uh, html code as you can see now you can further extend this app by including other columns of uh, this cheat sheet as well and as you might have noticed this cheat sheet is of a two page so you can create a streamlit web app with uh, multiple pages so I will share with link with you of my video where I explain how you can create a streamlit app with the multiple pages. So for two PDF pages, you can create over here two pages as well in this uh, app. Right. So yeah, that was uh, our small tutorial explaining how you can create a simple app to show a cheat sheet using streamlit. If you have any doubts or any question, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section. And yeah, if you liked our video and you feel that you learned something new today, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, see you next time.